Welcome back guys, Slow Star Patriot here. Thanks for joining me. So today I want to run through a quick video on how to dimple your barrel for the installation of a low profile gas block. So what I'll be using today is actually the BRD or Black Rifle Disease Engineering. This is their dimpling jig. So let's cover some of the specifics and then we'll jump inside to do the install. So stay tuned. All right guys, so to jump into some of the specifics on this particular gas block dimpling jig. Now again, this is made by Black Rifle Disease Engineering or the BRD Engineering. Now, this particular gas block dimpling jig is the model 1A, which accommodates three quarter inch OD or outside diameter barrels, as well as gas blocks that have two set screws. So this particular jig has two set screws on the bottom for drilling, and the center to center distance for these set screws is 0.46 inches. Now, the particular gas block that I prefer to use, as you've seen in other videos, is the BCM low profile gas block. However, this particular jig will accommodate other manufacturers gas blocks such as Veltor, Old Rainier, Midwest Industries, CMMG, as well as others. So let's jump inside and we'll get started with the installation. Okay, so I'm at the bench and again, I wanna run through the specifications of this gas block dimpling jig. Now, this particular jig has an inside diameter of three quarters of an inch which corresponds to the outside diameter of three quarters of an inch with the barrel. So you wanna be sure that your barrel diameter, outside diameter matches up with the inside diameter of your dimpling jig. Now on this particular jig, it has two set screws here on top, one silver, one black. Now the black set screw has a pointed tip and that pointed tip will actually index or seat into the gas port of the barrel. Now the silver set screw is a soft pointed set screw and that just helps lock down this jig onto the barrel so you can then flip it over and drill your dimples. So the first thing we'll do is install the jig onto the barrel. And then I'm just tightening down the black screw just to where it starts to bite against the barrel and then I'll slide that screw to meet up with the gas port hole in the barrel and you can hear it click or kind of seat into that spot and then from there now that I've got it seated into that gas port I just want to thread that down and tighten it and let it seat itself into that gas port. And then once it's hand tight, I'll then take my hand and tighten this soft pointed set screw. And then from there I can use the provided Allen key to further tighten those screws down. Now just to mention, there's no reason to get these super tight. You just wanna maybe do a quarter turn after hand tight and then you should be in good shape. All right, so now that that's done, we'll go ahead and mount on the device, of course, flip it over and start drilling our dimples. Okay, so before we go any further, there's one critical thing that I wanna point out, and that is that there's a gap of approximately 20 thousandths of an inch between the jig and the shoulder of the barrel. And hopefully you can see this, but especially if you're not using a dimpling jig such as this, you want to be absolutely certain that your gas port of your barrel is exactly aligned with the gas port hole in your gas block. So the nice thing about this jig is that it does that for you and takes out all the guesswork. Okay, so to get started with the drilling of the dimples, now obviously I've got the barrel mounted in the vise along with the jig. Now the nice thing about this jig is that it has flat shoulders on two sides of the jig that make mounting a device very easy. Now I'm also using an 18 volt cordless drill. I've got it on the low speed setting. And then for the drill bit, I'm using an 1164 seven inch cobalt drill bit. Now when you buy this particular jig from BRD Engineering directly, they also include this bit, which is nice. Now in terms of the size of the dimple, both in diameter and depth, let's start with the diameter. Now, the maximum diameter of the dimple should not exceed the diameter of the bit, which is 1164 of an inch in this case. Now, for the depth of the dimple, 
that is going to be no greater than the point length of the bit, which in this case is approximately a 32nd of an inch. So what I've done is I've actually added some blue painter's tape here to flag once I'm at that particular depth, or at least very close to that depth, that way I don't over drill. Okay, one more thing to point out is that I did add a little bit of cutting oil here to lubricate the bit as we drill these dimples. So let's get started. Now, one thing to note is that you want to keep your drill bit, or say if you're using a drill press, perpendicular to your dimpling jig, which is very critical. Okay, now the end result, of course, should be two perfectly located dimples on the barrel. Now, one thing to note is that in the instructions, it actually shows the jig being removed once you have the locations of both dimples located on the barrel. Now, personally, I prefer to leave the jig on the barrel. That way, at least I have a sleeve or a guide for my drill bit. That way, the bit doesn't skate as I continue to drill on the barrel and along with keeping the bit perpendicular to the barrel. So my preference again is to keep the jig on for the duration of the drilling. And then what I'll do is just go slow, take my time, and then loosen the jig, check the two dimple depths as well as the diameters, and then reinstall the jig and continue to drill, so on and so forth until I have the correct size dimples both in the diameter as well as the depth. All right guys, so to wrap up today's video covering the BRD engineering, gas block dimpling jig let's first talk about the price now this particular jig comes in right at a price point of around sixty dollars so it's certainly not a cheap jig however if you plan to dimple multiple barrels this jig will pay for itself very quickly it also is nice to have the convenience of doing this yourself versus say sending your barrels out to be dimpled by a gunsmith now a couple of things to mention on the dimpling once that's done you want to be sure to apply some sort of rust preventative on your barrel to prevent the bare steel from rusting. So I recommend using a cold blue, such as a Oxyfo blue, a 4440, or even a Birchwood Casey product, such as the Super Black. But you wanna have something on there to prevent rust. Now, when you reinstall your gas block, when you go to install your set screws, you wanna be sure that you apply a high temperature threshold thread locker, such as a rock set. Now, that's pretty much it for the video, but thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and keep up the good fight. But also, I'm using an 1164 inch high speed speed. Okay, to show you a close up of. <clears throat> Dang. What? All right, coming in. Thread locker, such as a Loctite. Having the delay in getting it back from a gunsmith to do the barrel, di barrel dimpling.